Hello, everyone. Well, we bring a very special topic. Each one of us is different. We don't look alike, right? And why should we eat the same thing? That's what the topic is today. Personalized nutrition based on nutrigenomics. We have Dr. Mansi Shah. She is a functional medicine doctor who has helped hundreds of patients with gut health and other issues. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Shah. Awesome. Thank you for having me on Nourish Talk. And I'm really excited because I've been using this topic of nutrigenomics in my practice in the last couple of years because it's something that wasn't a part of my practice in the beginning. But more that I learned about it, it's really fascinating and upcoming field that is basically the genetic testing to determine what is the correlation between your food, your genes, and your overall health, and how we can optimize you to living a quality of life that is really, really um, to the best of its potential. And that's where nutrigenomics really helps. Okay, so let's just uh, take an example, um, you know, because we as consumers, we know, like we know 23andMe and other companies who are doing gene testing, but let's say, uh, let's, let's just take an example of a, a typical gene testing test that maybe you have done for a patient, and what were the guidelines, you know, just to give a, just to give a little bit more kind of an in-depth feel to how, what would it look like. Absolutely. So um, a, a typical um, nutrigenomic test will involve you to uh, go ahead and order the kit and then you have to send your samples so that they will start analyzing your genes for how your current lifestyle, environmental toxins, and your diet is affecting your health. So I just did one last month on one of my patients who is still not getting the optimized gut health that uh, you know this person is looking for. And we've been working on the protocol for about um, three to six months. So then now when the testing came back, we exactly know what is uh, the food that is causing inflammation versus what is actually causing anti-inflammatory effects in the body. And then um, we also know environmental toxins that they're dealing with in their uh, current uh, environment that they have or you know some of the past deposition that they've that has occurred throughout the years so we can li literally personalize starting from how to breathe to how to eat and your personalized even uh, your grocery list that's how detail it gets because everyone's genome is different and how so, you know, gene expression is something that happens from DNA and we cannot change our DNA, but the gene expression that is um, actually correlated to our DNA will uh, determine how well we live. And we can really change our gene expression depending on how, on how well we keep our DNA. So how repaired or uh, well-kept it is versus if it's damaged, the gene expression changes and that's where nutrigenomic really helps because what we're doing is we're really keeping our in, uh, DNA intact, if that makes sense. Okay, so what, what is the, uh, you said the gene expression changes and it becomes kind of like, uh, what does it look like? I mean, we know the blood okay, markers, so let's, yeah, you know, so, blood markers, but we don't understand the gene expression markers. So I'm trying yes. to understand the markers, you know, uh, so that we know. Well, the markers are basically how we have symptoms and disease states. That's how gene expression is um, written in our body. So let's say we we're born with healthy genes that our parents gave. And, um, you know, you're a healthy individual growing up and then you start eating bad. You have sugar addiction. You have... Uh, been eating too much dairy or, you know, substandard level, like uh, amounts of um, other, even like food, like gluten that's GMO or corn that's GMO. Now, all of that will affect how your DNA is expressing the genes for us to lead, live the quality of life that we want, right? So what will happen is with time, something from our gene pool that we've had from the past from our ancestors will get expressed 
and it could be a disease state that got expressed. So let's say my gene pool has diabetes and it is um, adolescent type of diabetes. And if I was eating bad and it affected my gene expression, then this is what happens when a dormant gene that wouldn't get expressed would get expressed. And then we have to deal with a lot of health problems. Okay, so now <clears throat> Ayurveda has a similar concept, not that they do the testing, but they do the nerve, I mean, the, sorry, the, uh, the, the testing. The doshas. The doshas, the pulse. So uh, I, I, this is just your feedback and opinion, uh, as far as Ayurveda dosha versus the nutrigenomics, you know, actual gene testing. Is there, yeah. which one you think is better and why? Well, I would say it both has its own place. I wouldn't say one is better than another one. You should know both because with Ayurveda, you understand your prakriti. That means you have a base understanding of what is the foods that's causing more of an inflammation or overreaction in the body versus um, like what is healing to the body, right? So in a way, they're similar, but one is more in-depth and one is more, uh, I would say, a, a base. So we're, we're doing a foundation with, with you know, doshas and uh, Ayurvedic uh, medicine, and then we can build on it through nutrigenomics and go more in-depth. Okay. So I have to ask you this question about the gene MTHFR. What is the deal with, with that? MTHFR basically is a gene that, well, it's basically if someone has MTHFR gene uh, that is expressed, that means their conversion from um, the, uh, the B vitamin, uh, which is the uh, methylated form versus the non-methylated form, um, it doesn't happen. So methylated form is, is what we have to directly give to this person basically, of the uh, B12, if that makes sense. Um, so a lot of people cannot process that if they have that gene being expressed. And that's why um, it doesn't hurt to take the other form, but then the form that is actually utilized by the body is not being converted. So it's basically based off uh, a supplement if we're not giving the right one and then they are constantly seeing in that deficiency because of that uh, gene expression so mthfr is something that would also be a part of the nutrigenomic testing and we'll find out how the conversion happens in this person's body but it's it's not as high as what we think the the percentage of people that actually have that gene mutation Okay, so let's say a nutrigenomics test comes back. Are you solving, uh, well, solving is probably not the right word, but guiding your clients mainly based on their dietary habits or you are also adding some other tools like supplements or some herbs. So I just want to understand the solutioning part of it. We, we understand the problem part of it. The solutioning part of it, what are the solutioning part? Only, only your diet change or other things as well? No, it's actually a five-step process. Uh, when I do my, um, um, I would say, evaluation, we do the nutrigenomic testing, there's intake forms, and then also we do heavy metals and gut microbiome. And then I have a five-step process, which is uh, the first step is remove. We want to remove all the inflammatory, um, um, I would say, agents. It could be food, chemicals, whatever is um, on that test or whatever has been a problem on their lifestyle because some people already know what they need to remove they just don't do it right and then of course when it comes to gut microbiome we find out a lot of uh, gut microbiomes that are opportunistic and overgrown now and then the second step is replace which means we're going to help the body with um, um, digestive enzymes and other um, I would say aid that helps with uh, proper digestion on day to day and then uh, it could be also food so we also do kefir kombucha and different things and then uh, the third step is repair 
So we want to look at structural uh, problems in gut lining, which is I would uh, check for leaky gut and make sure that uh, if the leaky gut is confirmed, then we want to rebuild the gut lining and make sure there is enough. Um, I would say the tight junctions are tight enough so that toxin overload is not going in the bloodstream. And then the fourth step is re-inoculation. We're finding out what needs to be um, put in the body again because we have been missing good gut, gut microbiome. And then the fifth step is rebalance. That's where we use the mind body soul approach. And then all of these steps along with the test is what creates a very unique um, pathway for the patient to follow. No, I think that that sounds very precise. And then the mind body practices are also included um, at, at the, as a last step since you are a functional a medicine yes. practitioner, right? So that's, so it's not just only the food part, it's all integrative approach that you're taking towards, uh, towards all of your Yeah, clients. like yoga is a part of the protocol to deep breathing pranayama that we have in Ayurveda. So we do all of that along with, um, you know, best, I mean, I would say we also look at Western medicine where we want to see, you know, if there is a, a medication that's not needed that we can really request for the doctor to be stopped or replaced with something natural. So we do all of that too. And of course, um, Ayurveda with when it comes to, because yoga is a part of Ayurveda, which is what I use in my practice in the fifth step. Okay, well, this is pretty detailed analysis. Uh, so in your opinion, all of us should get our gene testing done and get ourselves evaluated to, to, to see if, they, if we have the risk of any, you know, future kind of health concerns. And that's another thing a lot of people do that for, right? To understand if they wouldn't get, for example, cancer. You know, there was an article that I read on Angelina Jolie getting her gene testing and, you know, people get it. And so do you think that is um, recommended for to understand what your future might look like if you're going to get some health issues? Yeah, honestly, we talk a lot about prevention, but what are we really doing for prevention? When you go for a mammogram or a pap smear or, um, you know, you get your endoscopy or colonoscopy done, right? That's not prevention. Prevention is ordering these lab tests uh, like nutrigenomics or gut microbiome or, um, you know, how your heavy metals have been in your body. So those things are really preventative, even if you don't have any active symptoms, because that's where we can really do the, the, the big um, groundwork that our body needs to prevent any. That's where we're talking about gene expression uh, being, you know, happening in the body where a gene was there, it stayed dormant, and then our lifestyle activated it and the gene got turned on and then expression happened. And nutrigenomic testing can really aid with um, catching things early on and actually stopping that. Okay, well, this was a quick 10 minute session today, uh, an intro to nutrigenomics, which I think all of us should get. We, we don't pay attention, but that is the precise testing uh, as opposed to just guessing. Anything yes. else you want to add to end the session? Any last comments before we wrap up? Sure. So I have built an amazing gut health practice and everything starts in the gut. I tell my patients that uh, your gut is the gateway to great health or health. You decide what you want to live. And, um, you know, I would love to um, help anyone who's looking for um, resolving their autoimmune or chronic pain or gut issues that they've been dealing with that they haven't got any results. So they can find me at your gut dr.com and i would um be open to there is also a you know guide on there to help with leaky gut so you can look at that and it's really amazing to start implementing right away well thank you so much and sharing i know uh, you share a lot of wealth of information on her insta so check it out uh, with that thank you so much dr shah for being with us and to all the viewers thank you so much for your continued support we're launching our, pro, uh, our subscription, very affordable subscription-based platform. So check it out. It's going to be out very soon. And uh, we will keep everyone posted with that. Namaste and have a great rest of the week. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.